everything's fused, my inks are all set, but before I layer up to quilt, I'm going to take a heat erasable pen and sketch in some clouds and a few foothills underneath my mountain. If you don't like what you've sketched, just erase it away with the iron and sketch it again. I'll confess it took me a couple of times to get my clouds the way I wanted them, but this will make it so much easier to do my quilting. I thought you might like to see how I did some of my quilting. As I said before, I used a heat erasable pen to add some lines for foothills and clouds around my mountain, and I used my walking foot and stitched along those lines. I stitched wavy lines kind of resembling wood grain into the window sashing. I did it on this one and here and here. I stitched along the horizon line and I stitched where the foreground meets the water. Add some wavy lines to the water. Don't stitch through the flowers but remember to add wavy lines over here also. Make sure that they're right across from each other. I did mm, four rows. I stitched along the top of the distant hill. I stitched a few rows of straight stitching again using my walking foot and my blue border. Using free motion and clear thread, I stitched around my roses and I worked into the centers of some of them. And I don't know if, how well you can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. In some cases, I stitched into the center of my leaves. I continued stitching and going into the centers of the roses and kind of outlining the edges until I had stitched down all of my roses. Still using free motion and my clear thread, I stitched around the flowers in my pot. I also took a little number 94 Heritage Pine and a Fantastics and darkened in a few of these leaves. I stitched around the pot and I also stitched around this pot. I stitched under the lips and I stitched inside this curve. I outlined the cuffs of the gloves, the outside edges of the fingers, and I stitched between the fingers where they were shaded. These two fingers hadn't been fused down yet. I couldn't do that till after I had the binding attached. After I finished my binding, I came in and added a little bit more stitching right around the outside edges of these two fingers. After I'd finished my quilting, I cut away the excess batting and backing and stitched my binding onto the front of my piece. The next thing I did was to hand stitch down right behind where these fingers go so that I could get these pressed down and get that paper out of my way before I finished stitching my binding. Thanks so much for watching my videos in this series, Master Gardener. If you finish a project, I'd love to see what you did. Please send a picture to my website. Thank you again.